we start our walk at the former Dunvant Railway Station, which was on the original piece of the Central Wales line from Swansea, Victoria, closed in the 1960s. We're now walking towards Dunvant Square, which is probably a bit more of a U-shape than a square, actually. We're now in Voilart Road. As you can see, this part of Royal Art Road is more like a country lane. We're now about to enter Fairwood Road. We're now in Thorl Road. This is approaching the area known as a Zoll, which is Welsh for water meadow, I believe. And there is probably lots of water around here. As you can see, it's been well watered recently. Many of the unsurfaced paths around here would be almost impassable due to all the heavy rain we've had recently. So I should be sticking to fairly surfaced paths. Plenty of water around. This is the ford across the Upper Klein River. Fortunately, there's a footbridge for me to across the river here. We're now about to join the path which runs along the edge of Fairwood Common and takes us to Upper Killay. Our first view of the common itself. A rather squaddy bit here, not untypical of uh, paths in this area. This is the view back towards Dunvant. Here we are at Upper Killay. You can probably hear the noise from the cattle grid on the main Southgar Road. This is Upper Killay Recreational Hall. This is the lake at Upper Killay. Lovely autumn colours coming now. One of the new 20 mile an hour signs possibly. Uplands Rugby Football Club. And we're back on Fairwood Common again. Lots of squadgy bits here. We're now leaving Fairwood Common. This is Swansea City Football Club's training ground. Huh? 
AstroTurf, I think. Another length of woodland path. Still walking around the football training facility. And here we are at the large lake. There's a small overflow. And this is the rain overflow, which I've never seen actually in, in use. Back into the woods again for a time. And back out into the sunshine again. There's the wood we left behind. It's a rather attractive caravan site we're passing. We've now arrived at Hen Park Lane. Just where we've been from. Fairwood Park Golf Club. This is the Wildflower Garden Centre. A nice cafe here. Having uh, walked through Fairwood Common earlier, we're now approaching Klein Common. And there's a golf club here as well. We see here now a view of the Tikoke Sketty Park and Kilay area of Swansea. This sheep is one of a flock with my initials on it, but it does not belong to me. Now I'll strike off across the golf course. We've now got a nice view of Sketty Park and Kilay and Dunvant and right at the end three crosses on the horizon. Our first view of the sea, Mumbles Head. The white building is Klein Golf Club. See Swansea Bay. We're leaving the golf course now. We're now approaching Klein Farm Activity Centre. Final view of the bay before we drop down to the Pine Valley. This is the access road to the activity centre. We now have a view of Swansea city centre and Kilvey Hill behind. We will well now uh, take this path that leads into Mill Lane. A 
having traversed that rather rough and boggy footpath, we're now at the top end of Mill Lane. Rather smart modern houses. We've now left Mill Lane and we're now going to take the path past Keeper's Cottage in the Klein Valley. This structure is known as Ivy Tower and is actually the base of a flue which took poisoned fumes from an arsenic factory down towards the coast. We're on a hillside so there's plenty of water coming off. We're on the western ridge of the Klein Valley so here's another view of the Sketty Park area with the high-rise flats. The public footpath goes off to the left but we will use a permissive path to go past Keeper's Cottage. And here is Keeper's Cottage. I think it is in holiday use nowadays. We will now rejoin the registered right of way. This particular path is on a, a new route that was constructed a few years ago. And unfortunately, they put these drainage grips in because there's a lot of water around. This is showing me where I need to go. We're now about to join the main Klein Valley path, which was the old railway route. As you can see, this is a much better surface than most of the others I've walked along today. I think this bridge may have originally uh, carried a tramway from uh, industrial workings like collieries or quarries. There are a lot of them around here. Here we see the Klein River that wiggles its way down this valley to the sea. We're now approaching the former Kilay railway station. You can see the platform on the right and the left. You can see the station house, now the pub, the railway inn. We're now passing under the A4118, the South Gower Road, that we saw earlier in Upper Calais. We won't be going as far as Gowerton. 
the two concrete posts would be a would have been a field gate entrance. I think part of the gate's still there. So you can see how far how much wider the total railway area was. We're now passing Dunvant Rugby Club ground. Well, we're now approaching Dunvant Station, which will be the end of our walk. And here we are, back where we started.